In this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can easily create a section view using the One CNC Pages feature. So to begin with, the One CNC Pages feature is a way in which you can easily create 2D prints from 3D geometry. So let's take a look at how we can create a section view. I'm going to head down to the lower left hand corner and select our Pages option. Now the first thing we need to do is to add a page. I'm going to select Add Page. And from the templates, I'm going to select the ANSI C template. Once I've done that, I can click OK. And there we go, there's our template. Why don't we start by making just a couple of wireframe views. I'm going to select Top View, Add to Page, and I'm going to dynamically drag that view right about there. How about a Right View? I'm going to select Right View. Same thing, I'm going to click Add to Page, and look how easy it is to line things up, just like that. How about a front view now? Let's select front view, add to page, and I'm going to drag that right about there. All right, now before we make our section view, why don't we make a trimetric view, and why don't we make that a render view? So I'll select model, add to page, and let's place that right about here. All right, so now let's take a look at creating a section view. I'm going to head back over to model space by clicking on one of these arrows here. And I have a construction plane that I created a little bit earlier, and I called that cross-section. And you can see that right there. I'm going to close this out. Let's go back into our page space. Let's open up our page manager. And from there, we're going to select the option called Create Section from Plane. Once we've done that, notice here at the bottom, there's a brand new view called Section 1. If I select this, it gives us a preview of the section view. Now I can click Add to Page and place that anywhere that I'd like. Another important thing to note is, just like with any other type of geometry within one CNC, you have the ability to rotate, move, and do really anything that you'd like. I'm going to rotate this view, how about 90 degrees? Something just about like that. And why don't we move it as well? I'm going to place it right about there. At this point, additional views can be created, dimensions can be added, as well as printing and saving the documentation. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.